Hello YouTube. We're back with the 6502 computer project and it's time for an update. So uh, let's see what we got. Uh, we need to power on. And notice now I've got a startup menu to remind myself of what programs are where in memory. So if I haven't used this machine in a while, I won't forget. Uh, always, always handy. Let's, uh, let's start basic here. And notice that basic is empty. It's, it's not empty, there's nothing loaded, right? So I have return to the monitor here. Okay, now, because I haven't yet updated um, the software to include a uh, fast load routine, Let's um, go ahead and load the uh, propeller chip with this version, which will uh, unfortunately turn off the monitor. Notice the power is still on, but now we're able to fast load through the serial port. Uh, and I should mention uh, I no longer need the uh, propeller plug. Everything is going through the serial interface, which now has hardware handshaking. So let's connect the terminal program here. And let us load a game of checkers. This program uh, it was from the late mid 70s, I believe, and Vince Brio converted it uh, to work with his Replica One. And uh, he's been really cool about sharing uh, the software that comes with the Replica One online. So I've downloaded it, and we're going to use this uh, version of Checkers here for a quick demo. So. Um, notice this is not loading as fast as a disk drive, of course, but uh, without the uh, hardware handshake uh, with the serial port, this was like so slow you could literally go and make a pizza or something and then come back and it would just be finishing up. So... There it goes, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to error the program out so that we can have a clean startup. Back to the propeller tool, back to our standard firmware, okay, reflashing propeller. And boom, back in business. Okay, and so we'll hit the enter key. There's our basic prompt. Uh, notice I have fat fingered, but fortunately, the firmware I've got has got a working delete, which is a real pleasure, believe me. Um, okay, now. Uh, We've got this program resident in basic. And uh, this won't take too long. But uh, this would have taken forever if I was going to type this in. And uh, so once this is finished, we type the magic basic word run. which we'll do as soon as this is done here. I think it's pretty close. The last lines of the program print out I win or I lose or something like that. Yep, there you go. Let's type run. And there we are. So one comma one is the lower left corner, eight comma eight is the upper right, and we're O's, right? So 
computer has already moved first. You see, he went from 26 to 15. So I'll just move, uh, let's see, 1, 3 to 2, 4. Okay. And it redraws the screen. There's my move. And let's see, he moved 1, 7. sure what exactly he did uh, whatever um, yeah I'm not gonna bore you with any more stuff here but I just wanted to give you a quick demo of the fast load capability and the new startup menu uh, delete feature and uh, what else um, yeah and that's it so um, all that's remaining now is I figured out how to optimize the glue logic and I think uh, switching a couple of gates around I can eliminate the 74LS32 OR gate completely. Um, and also that has the added benefit of using every single gate with the um, with the remaining glue logic chips so I don't have to um, ground the unused inputs which is a standard practice so that's actually saving a lot of parts one less chip and probably I don't know five or so resistors to ground um, I've got the board drawn out as it sits here in this breadboard currently um, in Eagle CAD and the board's all routed uh, with nothing left to do. It's ready to make, but I still I want to eliminate that one more uh, chip. And uh, once that's done, I'll probably have to uh, reroute it and touch it up a bit. But then I'm positively ready to have the boards made. And then uh, we'll populate it and uh, update the firmware some more. And I'd like to make a fancy case for this machine. Anyways. That is it for this update, short and sweet. Uh, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.